I'm going to tell you guys about the Moshi Monsters magazines, and this is the first one, I think, and I'm going to give you all the codes and stuff, so, this one, for a plaque, golden plaque that says Moshi Monsters magazine, the code is HK3DYJD3FQ2F. The free 1000 rocks code, this one didn't work for me, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. It's FPZ9RV7ZF9D4. The Roarsome Gargoyle, which is really cool. It's Roarsome 1. Then they've got like games and stuff. The Daily Growl, Record Breaker, Interview with Simon Growl. Then they've got Moshling Zoo Ninjas. I'm going to give you the codes for all these if you don't have the Moshi Monsters Handbook. Um, Chop Chop is three dragon fruit. They're all Ennies. General Fuzaki is um, a red hot chili pepper, a yellow love berry, and a purple star blossom. Shelby is any dragon fruit and any magic beans with a black dragon fruit. Sukiyaki is any hot silly pepper, any magic bean, and one red magic bean. Then they've got um, these mushrooms that people created, and they got Katy Berry, Pinna, Goaty Simpson, Smiley, Pop Run, and Daisy. And if you guys are watching this, you did a really great job. And then they have Moshi Monsters Mega Blocks and stuff that you can buy. And then they've got Yum Yum Kitchen where you make glump cakes and these are them and stuff. They've got Diablo Dip which is made out of like a mild onion, bacon bits, tomatoes, hot sauce, sour cream, and soft cream cheese. And I definitely won't be having this because I don't like anything except for the bacon bits and tomatoes. Then they have like a comic and it's just like that boot guy and uh Callie is like I guess having dinner with Fumble and then like they get a meatball somehow and it's really weird but then they have super fans and they're really cool like these two girls made um Odie's out of their donuts and I just thought that was really cool and someone made Ecto Jello and, uh, yeah. And they've got more games from the Puzzle Palace. Another Puzzle Palace. Um, they've got a fact file on Zach Binspin. And it's like, I don't really like him. His song is kind of stupid. But then they have Super Weapon Showdown. And, like, you have to find the different things between these, like, the edited version that the Super Moshis did, and Clonk's version. And then they have Mission Debrief, and it's, like, you have to check off all the Moshlings that you've gotten. I've gotten all of these, and I also did, like, Mission 1 for Series 2. But then they have Mission Evidence from, like, Buster Bumble Chumps and known Clonk members. And then they give you like the names of their transportation stuff and like other stuff. And they have horoscopes. I haven't done this yet because I don't want to cut out the fact file stuff. But it looks really fun. Then they have a game quiz. I did that. Then you have to find these all around the magazine and then you have to check them off. They're like all the glumps. And they've got Brain Strain Challenge, which you have to do in five, like, five minutes. And then Gurgle, some magic tricks, magic mochi seeds. It looks really cool. And it's just, like, subscribe to. You get Dustbin Beaver free, but I didn't. And then they have another comic. It's about flooding, but some of it, I cut some of it out so I could make my thing. See? I cut these out. And I put it on here. And now it holds on the magazines. It's just fantastic food. 
some more Super Weapon Showdown Part 2. Monstar of the Week. N nope, Monstar of the Month is Squeesh. And uh, great job, Squeesh. Then this is just Moshi goodies like stuffed animals and Moshlings and the DS game. Moshi Mega Blocks and then Answers. And Moshi Monsters Art Gallery. Uh, all you guys who did this, you did like a really great job. And I especially love this Ginger Snap Cat from Chocolate Cookies 2000. And then they have Moshi Jokes and. Okay, so what is DJ Quack's favorite food? Quackers. Uh. What did Stanley say to his mother when he wouldn't share his toys? I'm a bit shellfish. I've seen that one before. Uh, why did Rory scroll across the road to get to his other eye? What happened when Minnie Ben ran into Ecto? He ran out of time. What did Dr. Strangeglove say when he needed help? Can someone give me a hand? And what did Ecto say at the start of the race? Ready, set, glow. Those are all jokes. That it just shows in the next issue. Um, confetti cannon, spinning fireworks, and I have that, so I'm gonna give you guys that code. Issue two, codes. Featuring Zach Binsman. I thought that was a really cool picture. Okay, the all these codes work for me. And so for the spinning fireworks, which is really cool, it's C, Q, H, D, Q, V, V, K, N, 3, J, Y. For the confetti cannon, it's X, E, A, Y, 7, 7, H, C, B, I mean 8, 4, U, 3. Then for the cheeky gargoyle, which goes along with the roarsome gargoyle, is Raz, Raspberry, with like the silent P, which I always get messed up on. And they've got more daily growl games and stuff. And I'm gonna give you the codes for the fishies. So maybe you should write this down. But Fumble is any star blossom, yellow love berries, yellow magic bean. Stanley is um, two love berries and one dragon fruit. They're all any blur. I mean, Cali is any magic bean. Yellow love berries and blue love berries. So, blurp is any moon orchard, uh, any love berries, and a pink love berry. Then, this is how to draw Diablo. I did that, it was hard but fun. And uh, then they have like Simon Growl fact file, Glump Snaps. Which is just like a bunch of pictures of people with lumps. My favorite is the one right here where they're in the house. It's like all the golden moshlings. I have those too, and I'll show you those after. And I also like the Lego bowling with the glumps. That's just really cool. Then they have another Yum Yum Kitchen Rawberry Cheesecake. That looks good. It looks kind of just like it does in the character, like the Moshi Monsters. Music rocks, it's uh, let's see, the new Moshi Monster album, more Puzzle Palace, Mosling Tin, stuff you can buy and stuff, more Puzzle Palace, prepare for Binsman Mania, Glump hats. I thought these were really cool. The A to Z of Mush Monsters. Then they've got posters. I haven't taken these out yet. But this is the one you can see fully. It's like old fashioned and black and white. Mosh Games, Moshi Showdown, Brain Strain Challenge. 
uh, another Moshi comic. More wanted glumps, and I think their names are kind of funny. Podge, Bloopy, Squiff, Mustachio, Ned, and Blackjack. Uh, the same thing, so subscribe to Motion Monsters Magazine. Then these are like mini monsters, they're kind of gross. They've got like head lice and dust mites and bed bugs, fleas, and water mites. Uh, prepare for Bin Spin Mania, part two. Monster of the Week, Ice Cream Lover 44, great job. Love your room. Then uh, Elder Ferrari Fat File. Um, this is something kind of cool, you can put this on your door. It says, uh, Keep out, clonk about. Then it says, come and join the party. Puzzle Palace Dancers. Uh, art Gallery. Again, these guys did a really good job. Then another comic about Ginger Snap being lazy. And then next issue, you get uh, Sparkling Fifi and Odie statues, Telegram Box, and you could win a flip. HD digital camera. So I'm going to show you the next issue. This is the last issue I have. So, the Odie one didn't work for me, but the Fifi one did. Too bad, because I like Odie better. But the code is for Fifi VZ3KBVCWHR2A. The code for the OD statue is 6WEJGHK7XZJN. Then the telegram box, which I already have, is London Calling. Daily Growl. Uh, Monstro Airlines. Mount Char Char. Uh, you can you can go to these places like it says Mount Char Char chill out and heat up with an all exclusive break to Mount Char Char prices 599 rocks per monster I kind of think that's a lot I think you can all yep you can go to cutie pie canyon potion ocean for uh 1000 rocks and Cutie Pie Canyon is for 300 rocks, gets you a sprinkle side room at the something something. Don't forget your toothbrush. Uh, they have Elder Ferrari spotted in that box right there, I guess. I guess he's like hidden in the statue or something. And they have like rocks challenge and stuff. And then they have ponies highlight. I'm not going to read them because I think you can see them. No, I'll just make it quicker. Again, these guys did a really nice job. They came up with Nutty, St. Patrick Jr., Mimi the Mouse, Singer, Hammy, and Chewy Gummy Yum. Chewy Gum Yum. Fact file for Captain Buck. Yum Yum Kitchen. Uh, Monster Mess. That looks really good. I see McNutty likes it. Music rocks, my top tweeny bot, my hair is too long, that's why it's that spin spin. The lyrics, it's really strange, it says like, you know, I'll stroke my hair. It's weird. Then they have a highlight on Sweet Tooth. Puzzle Palace, Graffiti City, more Mega Blocks, Garden Party. I don't know what that is. A Close Encounter Part 1 of the Zoshi kind. Uh, this mission was really fun. And they have more like facts about medals. Reader Challenge. Uh, stat Attack. The most adopted monsters are Katsumas. Uh, that's 31%. 11% is, uh, lovely. 7% is Zomer. 10% is Furry. 24% is Poppet. And 18% is Diablo. I have all those. Another Motion Monsters comic about...